I, I, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I definitely wanted to go to Cannes, but I did not know if I should go for like a, maybe represent a brand if I get this opportunity in my future. Or I thought that this is gonna happen when you know after like ten years or something when I've actually established myself and I go for a film or maybe. Uh, how do people get invited there? So I had so many questions in my in my mind. Hey, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing very good. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm really, really excited excited to speak with you. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's okay. You captivated audiences in television and in web series. So I'm curious, do you have a particular interest in transitioning to Bollywood films entirely or do you really like the variety of switching between the two? So uh, yes, I do want to transition into Bollywood eventually and uh, but I would love to um, experiment as well when it comes to web series. I love uh, OTT. So um, I don't entirely want to uh, go in a certain way. I want to experiment into web shows or maybe uh, web movies or OTT films as well. So, yeah. Okay. Now, you're doing a fantastic job. You're really raising the profile of the projects that you're working on. Um, so you're, you're very welcome. I'm, I'm curious, you know, as one of the few young Indian celebrities that attended the Cannes uh, 2024 Film Festival, um, how did you feel about representing Indian cinema on such a big global stage? It was magical. I think I was uh, very nervous when I got the news and uh, I hadn't really, like, I, had, I, I didn't really know what I wanted to do I definitely wanted to go to Cannes but I did not know if I should go for like a maybe represent a brand if I get this opportunity in my future or I thought that this is gonna happen when you know after like 10 years or something when I've actually established myself and I go for a film or maybe uh, how do people get invited there so I had so many questions in my, in my mind but when I got uh, uh, this opportunity when uh, we had to release the poster of our film called Love in Vietnam in Cannes. So that was a huge, huge opportunity for me. And uh, I was the young, youngest Indian actress to uh, walk the red carpet at Cannes. So it was uh, unreal, I think. I did not really, I, I hadn't really imagined it. But uh, it, it, it's a blessing, I think. And I feel really proud that I got to represent my country they add such a global platform like that. Congratulations. I'm I'm proud of you. That was an amazing uh, uh, appearance that you were able to do. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your character in this new movie, Love Care Arranged Marriage? Um, and also, how do you personally connect with her? Do you like your character or the things that you find similar about your character and yourself? Oh, absolutely. I love her. I, her name is Ishika and uh, she is so confident. She is a powerhouse herself. She is, um, she is, she's outspoken. She doesn't care about other people's opinions. She does what she loves. She is, uh, she protects her family and uh, she has a huge responsibility. She takes care of her mother uh, and I, I love that about her. I love this character. Personally, I, um, as me, like as of me, I'm really different to what she is. And uh, um, I love experimenting with my roles. I love experimenting with everything, actually, even my looks, be it my looks or my roles, anything. And I wanted to do a character this bold, this strong in my career. So when I got this opportunity, I I said yes. When I got to know about this character, I said yes at that moment itself. So. <laughs> why is it important to you to embody these qualities like she's a very strong independent character and this it feels like you you pick these types of characters frequently is this a, is this an intentional choice and 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 why do you choose these types of characters so uh it's not an intentional choice i said oh uh, i really like experimenting but uh, 
it just happens i think uh, maybe i have such a strong personality <laughs> that way that people like uh giving me roles in that certain genre but uh, yeah i enjoy them i think i i love i be i love being a part of uh, roles like that how was your experience with this film and working with sunny singh um especially in a topic of uh, an arranged marriage film did you have any funny moments or any conversations on set um that that are interesting yeah uh, so i think uh, the fact that sunny is also a punjabi i'm also a punjabi so we could really relate and we had a blast when we were shooting uh the first few moments were a little you know <laughs> We didn't know each other. This was the first time we were working together. But I was very excited. I had seen his work in the past, and he's done such amazing, uh, amazing films in the past: blockbuster comedy films, or uh, rom-com films. And I wanted to work with him since a really long time. But something that really, uh, um, I think, uh, I could relate to was him being a Punjabi, so we could talk in our own language, and we had these really funny little jokes happening at the same time. And I felt like. We were really good friends, even when we started shooting, and in two three days we started becoming like like really good friends. I think it was because of uh, uh, that, and uh, but also in um, in personal life he's a really really good person. Like he's a really honest, a really genuine, a really sweet person. So yeah, I'm glad that I got to make uh, such relations when we were shooting uh, the film. Be it Anur, uh, uh, sorry Anu Kapoor sir. Beat Supriya, ma'am. Everybody, they they're so amazing and they're they're just so genuine and they're so sweet. Now, you worked in entertainment. It feels like your whole life, right? Since eight, eight years old, you've been dancing. You've been a YouTube star. You're in film. I'm curious, what's been the biggest challenge you faced in your career so far? And can you tell us a little bit about how you overcame it? the biggest challenge itself was coming into this industry because um i do not belong from here i do not have any personal connections or relations to the industry i belong to a really small city in punjab that's called jalandhar and uh, mom, my mom or uh, my dad my grandparents they have been doctors teachers so they wanted me to get into this field but when i actually I told them that I, this is something that I'd like, and this is something that I would like to go for. So the challenge itself, coming from there to Mumbai, to the city of dreams, was a challenge itself. So I think, um, yeah. So that that and uh, the struggle that I had to face over the years to even enter this industry. But now I feel proud. I feel um, I feel great that I can say that I'm an established actor and I am. Do- doing good for myself you know amazing now being so busy you know working on so many different things um it it i would imagine that about ba- uh, balancing your career and your personal life it, it has to be a challenge mm-hmm. how do you create pockets of time for yourself and and what are some of the things that you like to do when you have your personal time so uh for personally for me i've always balanced between these two things uh since even my school years if i talk about my school years i remember i used to go to school and i used to shoot at the same time so there used to be uh, some breaks that were given to me and i used to go to school and then i used to give my exam come back to the set then shoot again so this was like a routine for me so i have actually seen this since a very early age in my life and uh, i think that made me really experience a lot of uh, things in my life so right now if i speak about it yes i get time i i don't get time i make time personally yeah good um yeah. now now being so active online i'm curious and and I, do you ever read the comments from fans or reactions to your work and if you if you do How do you handle the reactions or the criticisms? Um do they motivate you? Do they uh, what's your reaction to that? So as I said before I have seen English since a really long time. I have experienced this and um firstly not only just on social media I feel like everywhere you cannot um 
tell people to be positive all the time right there is going to be negativity uh be it any aspect of your life not just like social media or your work you cannot change one's opinion so yeah i think that's what i have understood from uh, the comments or the views that i have received over the years uh i do love it when my fans really support me i love it when they show so much love or uh, they have shown so much love over the years but when a uh, certain negativity unnecessary negativity that pops up i just try and avoid it i try and ignore it that's what i have done because i honestly do not have the time personally to go and reply to each and every uh, negative comment that is out there i choose to just avoid it awesome now uh, again i know you're very busy so this is my last question uh can you share any any hits maybe any teasers about upcoming projects that you're working on that you're excited about oh yes absolutely uh we launched the poster of uh, my next film which is called love in vietnam in can and uh, we're going to start the shoot for that in vietnam and so we're going to start the shoot and then the film is going to release next year uh mostly in can so fingers crossed for that and uh, there's another project that's going to come up uh, it's a series and uh, i'm really excited for that because it's a completely different um, it's it's a mystery murder uh so it's all gory stuff and uh, yeah so yeah that's what i do i really experiment with my roles and stories so yeah that sounds very exciting that sounds very exciting well abney thank you so much for your time i really appreciate you speaking with me um thank you so much i hope you enjoy the rest of your after your evening thank you so much thank you and nice nice to meet you nice to meet you